What are the different fuels that we use to make electricity? In America, 50% of the electricity comes from coal, 20% comes from natural gas, 20% from nuclear, and about six or seven percent from hydro, yeah. and then one or two percent from sun and wind. Huh. Unfortunately, solar and wind are rounding errors today huh. when it comes to the total composition of how we produce electricity. Is 50 percent coal, is that our capacity or what we actually use every year? Well, the, the coal runs almost 24-7. It, that is one of our base loads, okay. that and nuclear. So when you say base load, what does that mean? It means that is the resource that is running all the time, even when we're using a minimum amount. The units that will not run all the time are going to be the gas plants and the wind and the sun. And why do we pick coal and nuclear to run all the time? I think a couple of things. One, historically, coal has been really cheap. Okay. So it makes sense to run the cheapest commodity the most time. Secondly, once you've got a coal plant up and running, they're not really designed to turn down. Okay. They're designed to run flat out. That's the way they work the best. That's the same with a nuclear plant. They're designed to turn on and run, right. and that's what they do. Okay. Now, a gas plant is a lot easier. You can turn it up, you can bring it back down with relative ease. And that's the kind of the role that it plays. Oh, and it, it's just more flexible that way? Is it part of the design? It is more flexible. Plus, just the nature of natural gas gives you the ability to add more to it quickly, get the water up hotter, sure. bring on another unit. Many of the natural gas plants are a, sequ a series of small units put next to each other. Right. So you could be running two of them and then add two more fairly ah. quickly and right. bring the full capacity of that plant up. 